So there's only two laws you have to know, two big ones. The first one is the ideal gas law. And the other one is known as the combined gas law. But I'm gonna write Bridget's law here because years ago I had a student named Bridget who had a really hard time remembering the combined gas law. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna make up my own acronym here. Instead of pressure times volume over temperature, I'm gonna say Pali's verdes over tennis equals Pali's verdes over tennis. So the combined gas law, better known as Bridges law, has built into it Charles' law, it has Boyle's law, and it has Guy, whatever his name is, Lissac's law. The ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. Okay, here's how to decide which equation to use. There are two things to look out for. Are we looking for the same situation or are we looking for situation A to situation B? So if I said a gas at 20 degrees Celsius and a volume of 30 liters is compressed to a new volume of 20 liters, what is the new temperature? We're trying to figure out wh which gas law to use. Am I asking you about a gas in the same situation or did I change the condition? We have a gas, right? I'm, I'm gonna put it like in this container. And what's happening to my gas in this container? All right, so we have a gas at 20 degrees Celsius and what's its volume? It's 30 liters. All right, so we, we have the volume. So we have a temperature and we have like what volume this thing is. Compressed, is, com is compressed. Okay, so now what does that mean? It's compressed to a new volume. What did I change? Change the volume. So now my gas is in a new situation. I changed the volume. It's not gonna be as, as big of a container. It's gonna be a smaller container. And what's the new volume? So new volume equals 20 liters. So that's a new situation, I, I changed something. So is it the same scenario, unchanged, or do we change what's going on to the gas? We change what's going on to the gas. Therefore, we need to use the combined gas law, which is P1 times V1 over T1 equals P2 times V2 over T2. Okay, so here's a, like a really like horrible example. Let's say you have a person, Bob. Here's Bob. He works in a restaurant, all right? And our our normal body temperature is like something like 98.7 degrees Fahrenheit. And I stick Bob, or the mob sticks Bob in a freezer, like a restaurant freezer, set at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Is it, is it still Bob? Still Bob, right? Okay, but has anything changed about his situation? He went from 98.7 degrees, and eventually, when he's found dead, what's his body temperature gonna be? It's gonna be zero. So he's he went from situation A to situation B. I'm not asking like how much does Bob weigh? I'm asking what's the new temperature in his new condition. There was in situation A, you had a T1, which was 98.7. In situation B, you have a T2, which is zero degrees. Now let's talk about another scenario where I'm not changing the conditions or the environment where something is in. Let's say, for example, there's a guy named Steve and they give you some clues about Steve. Steve is 42 years old. And then I say, how much does Steve weigh? Did I stick Steve in a freezer? Did I throw him in an oven? No. Did I compress him in a car compactor? No. So is this same situation or situation A to situation B? So when it's same situation, so same situation, it's always gonna be PV equals NRT. If it's situation A to situation B, it's always gonna be Pali's verdes over tennis equals Pali's verdes over tennis. One more people example, then I'll do a gas example. If I say, there's a guy named David, and David is 300 pounds, he's a little overweight, but he's tall, and he's 42 years old. And I put David on the moon. My question is, what is David's new weight? I want you to tell me if it's same situation or situation A to situation B. That's situation A to situation B because David went from Earth to the moon, so his environment changed and thus his weight changed because his weight would be less on the moon. Here's another problem. We have 30 grams of O2 at three atmospheres and at 300 Kelvin. What is the volume of oxygen gas. Okay, so we need to know, is that situation A to situation B or same situation? Okay, well, what's our gas starting off at? What's its, what is this 30 grams? It's its mass. We have mass, right? And what is this 30 atmosphere business? So what is that like volume, pressure? So, okay, so we have mass, we have pressure. All right, and what is this right here? Temperature. So look, mass, pressure, temperature. Did I change the mass? Did I change the pressure? Did I change the temperature? No. So is that like, Steve is 42 years old, how much does he weigh? Or is that like putting Bob in a freezer? It's like finding something else about the same guy in the same situation. We already have his mass, we have his pressure, we have his temperature. Let's just use those clues to not get the volume. We're not asking for a new volume. We're not asking for a new temperature. We're not asking for a new pressure. So when you have same situation, it's PV equals NRT.